Hello, my name is Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. You're looking at Drawn to Death. It's a PlayStation 4 free-to-play, multiplayer, third-person shooting game, um, which is coming out soon. Uh, it's being developed by the Bartlett Jones Supernatural Detective Agency there in San Diego, uh, along with San Diego's, uh, San Diego's Sony Studio. Its most obvious point of difference, and you can see this for yourself, is that it has uh, a, a very distinctive look. It's taken from the, the scribbled school books of a bored teenager, and... Uh, you know, it's we've all done this as teenagers. We've all scribbled on notebooks, and this is the sort of world that comes out of it, that wraps itself around the game. Uh, this look, this aesthetic, reaches into all parts of the game. You know, the music, the dialogue, the jokes, uh, uh, the missions, the maps. It's it's all kind of part of the same world. And in fact, you can there's a massive super weapon that you can call upon from time to time, which is which is the the, the drawer himself is giant big hand reaches into the game and uh, you know shoots or squishes the enemies the humor and there's a ton of it whether you like this sort of thing or not it is you know has a very juvenile flavor obviously to go along with the look of the game and so you've got a kind of morbid delight in death and gore and blood and explosions and heads exploding and all that stuff it's not like this is new to video games especially but they really go to town with this stuff here uh, there's also a kind of I guess a sort of 90s sanitized rock and roll feel to it. Uh, you know, there's a character later on who's, who's got a Mohican and runs around with a British accent, and you, you know the sort of thing. And there's also jokes about traditionally comedic animals like monkeys and, and sharks. I think you get the picture. Uh, but there's also a lot of physical humor as well, a lot of slapstick. You know, there's a transport pad that, that you, you know you used to get from laterally from one side of the map to the other and it's literally a giant boot that kicks your ass from one side of the map to the other this is a, a fast moving game that you would expect from a game that takes its cue from quake and its descendants uh, it encourages players to make full use of multiple elevation points and platforms trapdoors elevator shafts you've got to keep moving around this map or you're going to get killed uh, when you respawn, characters are given a choice of a large arsenal of weapons, all of which have their own their own quirks and specialities. Uh, you, your choices at point of entry are available for a primary weapon, a secondary weapon, a special, a throwable. When you get into the game, you've got lots of melee moves. There's a ton of stuff, you know, health and boosts and weapons that are inside the map, and you have a certain amount of choice about what sort of stuff that you want inside there. And the juice fills up. You can see that that meter in the bottom right hand corner uh, of the map which allows you to use these specials and you know here's one of the the sort of interesting weapons which you know, it's basically a bfg all the weapons in this game are are variations on familiar themes with this one you've got a, a character a corpse I, I guess it's called joe who you know you you sort of power it up and you fire it and if you if you get the timing wrong you know the three or four seconds it takes to power up then you leave yourself open to attack and if you get it right then you cause a lot of damage to your enemies and, 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 and I think part of the fun of this game is figuring out which you know as with all of these shooters is figuring out which weapon or which combination of weapons are good for you but also having fun with the fact that they're all a little bit different from the standard versions of those weapons which we you know we've seen over the past 20 or 30 years uh, full details on how this game will be monetized, I mean that's an awful word, but you know, what you'll actually be paying for when you when you, you get when you download the game have yet to be revealed, but you know, no big surprises. You'll be you know you start off with a, a single character when you go through your training mission, you choose that character for yourself, um, but then the other characters are there for you to, to earn or to buy later on. The same with the, the weapons, you know, you make a choice of weapons and they're perfectly serviceable, they they're as good as any other weapon in terms of their the, you know what they can what they can do their their pros and their cons but the, you know if you want variety then you're going to have to earn it or you're going to have to use real currency uh, to pay for it and, and you know that this is the way of free to play games and you know we'll see how that how that works out uh, the the game also has uh, its own level props uh, which we'll see uh, one of which is from uh, the, you know, the Homeric tales of the Cyclops you, you know you shoot at a you shoot at a, a panel, a fresco, and a little kind of cartoon, I suppose, opens up that tells the story in a, in a sort of modern, quirky way. And, you know, and searching for those things and finding those things and having fun with them, with the maps, is fun. The maps themselves, uh, the, the, some of them have a, uh, have a, uh, a sort of 
really sketchy look about them. When I, mean, when I say sketchy, I mean they look as if they've been pulled out of a, of a student sketchbook. And some of them have a more filled out artistic look. Uh, talking about level props, there's also, in fact, there's also one. Here's that, here's that fresco just there. You just went past it. Um, uh, there are also some which are actually useful, which are, have tactical use. And so you can shoot, the, if you just saw the, the head there in the corner of that, that, that image, if you shoot that face, it will bring down uh, a, a platform and that platform will destroy and crush anybody under it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking now just as we look at that fresco playing its, itself out. I'll let you watch the rest of this, uh, this 10 minute video. This is Drawn to Death. I'm glad it is you. Well, I'm through, you poxy wanker. 